Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at a Windows tutorial on how to create a Windows system backup image and a repair disk. I'm using Windows 7 today for this tutorial and it's quite simple actually. You just click on start and in the search field you type in backup and it will give you a link called backup and restore here at the top. Click on that link and it will open up the window of the utility to create a system image. So you can see here on the left hand side it says create a system image. So click on that and then you can select the drive that you want to back up and the drive where you want to save the system image. Now system image means backing everything up on the drive and I mean everything not just the windows but all your data everything. So uh, for example I have a C drive that is basically pretty full and it's about 71 gigs used up right now and I got an E drive that I can back things up onto because it's got 200 gigs free so that's great. You could back things up onto DVDs if you want. It'll take a while, but you do have the option. Preferably back things up onto an external drive, okay, if you have one or a secondary drive in your machine. So here's the C drive that I'm backing up, 71 gigs used. There's the total size. And uh, of course, wherever you back this up onto, you need to make sure that there's enough space on there. You can't back it up onto the same drive where you are um, currently trying to make an image from because you know if that drive goes down then obviously you can't uh, restore from that drive so make sure you back up your system image onto a different drive okay now after you've uh, followed through these screens the next thing that I recommend you do after you've done the uh, system image backup is to create a system uh, repair disk okay so this system repair disk will allow you to boot up your machine and repair or restore the system image in case you have to. Okay, so create a system image repair disk right there. Click on that link, put in a blank DVD in your DVD uh, writable drive, and uh, and let it burn the uh, and create the disk for you. Okay, that bootable disk. So that's only in the worst case scenario. If you really need to use that disk, you can restore things from there. Re restore the whole entire system image. And here are the different options. I booted up the CD, and you can see the menu of different options in Windows 7 here to restore from. The third one is system image recovery. So that one basically would ask you for your drive where you backed up. In my case, I would have backed up a 71 gig system image and it would ask for the location for that. It would find it and then take its time, of course, to re restore the whole thing back. So that's basically a safety precaution in case you, uh, you're wondering how to do it. Quick video. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.